as uh, Evelyn said, I'm going to talk about uh, individual performance in TDS and TCATA, because it's a topic uh, in which we have very few uh, things yet. Uh, for doing that, I will take the same data than Caroline just before, the chocolate data. And first, let me show you the TDS and the TCATA curves of the three products. So, uh, for instance, this is the product A, A in TDS. It is very fruity, okay? We could even say fruity and nothing else. But that was the target of, of uh, building this chocolate. And when we look at the TCATA curves, of course, it's fruity. And below we have a spicy cocoa, but we don't know in Tikata where is the, the level of significance. When we look at product B, it's very spicy. It was expected to be spicy. It's also fruity. And we have the same story in Tikata. When we look at product C, it is woody, then cocoa in TDS. And it is woody and cocoa at the same time in Tikata. So the two methods by the curves tell us the same story, but we could say that the sequentiality of the sensation is better captured in TDS. As you can see, TDS suggests that cocoa arrives after Woody, and we don't have that in uh, Tikata. So this is the classical way at panel level to look at the, the raw data. So now another way by PCA, but the PCA of the, the sequence of sensation. Each product is represented by five points, uh, representing the, the, the beginning from, from zero to point two in standardized time, then from point two to point four, and so on, up to the end of the perception. So we can draw a, tr a sensory trajectory like this one for, for the product A. And basically, this trajectory tells me that uh, uh, A is fruity, but was even more fruity at the end because we go in the direction of fruity. Same for spicy for B. And the C product has no sequentiality because we don't move. And when we look at the Ticata, we've got almost the same story, not exactly the same. For instance, Grillé is not located at the same place. And maybe we have less uh, sequentiality uh, on the product A as compared uh, to the same product in TDS. Okay, so I would say slightly more temporality shown in TDS. Now, if I do as Caroline did, that is I take the dominance duration on the whole period from the beginning, from moving to the end of the perception, and then I analyze that not by PCA, but by canonical variate analysis. Then I've got these two maps that, which again tell me the same story, right? But uh, here I can see that, that based on this method, we have more uh, product discrimination uh, in TDS than TCATA. It is exemplified by the better separation of product A and B, and also by the MANOVA statistics being 14.7 uh, against 11.4, and also by the fact that, that the likelihood ratio test of the number of significant dimension was two in TDS and one in uh, TICATA. So I'm in line here with what uh, Caroline told you about the, the slightly better discrimination of TDS, but the main story of, of this chocolate are the same, right? So now, the, um, the problem of my, um, so this example is not very demonstrative for showing temporality in product. But when we started this experiment, we, were, we, we, we could not know that, of course, because the temporality is very tiny anyway. But now, I would like to know if individuals, the judges, behave the same way in terms of repeatability, because remember that we have four reps for each of the three products, and in terms of product discrimination at individual level, right? And uh, there is no tool in TDS for doing that uh, properly. And um, in fact, at the beginning of TDS, we were asking intensity at the same time than, uh, than dominance. And um, it was a very difficult task. 
and it requested a lot of training. Then after several years, we had the idea to remove intensity. And then we realized that it was a good technique for consumer because easy to do as soon as you have understood the task and the definition of the attributes. But uh, then we went to consumer and with consumer, you don't replicate because you better put your money in more subject, uh, okay? And we know that the consumer are not reputable. We know that Custer demonstrated that long time ago. So in fact, uh, this question of individual reputability were not uh, addressed uh, properly. But the company, several companies, believe me, told me, Pascal, your TDS techniques, uh, we would like to incorporate it in our toolbox of sensory method, but we need to have tools for monitoring individual performances because this is what they are used to do with uh, profiling. Okay, so that's the topic of my presentation to propose something for that. So let me explain what we did. It's pretty simple. Uh, here you have a TDS sequence. These judges picked B, R, R, G, B, B, R, Y. What we do is that we split in a number of periods. On that slide, it's three periods, equally sized. And then we transform the data in a way into Chikata data, because in period one, I have BR. In period two, I have RGB. And in period three, I have BRY. And at that point, I have transformed my time in three periods and my TDS um, data into Tikata data. So all I will present is applicable to Tikata as well. And then we are going to use the Jakar index to compare two sequences. The Jakar index is the ratio between the number of common attributes in a given period between, between two sequences divided by the total number of attributes seen in these two sequences in the corresponding periods. We compute the Jakar index period by periods, right? Here, here, here is an example, Se sequence one, sequence two, and when uh, the Jakar on P1 is one because B is common divided by two because we have two different attributes in period one. So we have three Jakar because there is three periods and we take, of course, the average, right? So now, uh, what we are going to do to compute the repeatability of a panelist is that we, have com we are going to compute the average uh, of the Jakar index um, on all pairs of replicates. Suppose you have three products uh, and uh, you have two reps, uh, then you have three pairs. Uh, suppose you have three products and three reps, then with a given product, you can do three pairs times three products, you have nine Jacquard index, right? And then we make the average of that. And then in order to assess whether this uh, average Jacquard index is large enough to say that the panelist is repeatable, we are going to do Monte Carlo simulation. We simulate 1,000 of pairs of subset of attributes chosen pseudo randomly. So I'm waiting for your questions on that from the P attributes. And then we compute uh, the, the distribution of the simulated TSR uh, for temporal similarity of replicates. And we are going to keep the 95 person quantile and also the 85. The then if my real TSR is larger than Q95, then I will say that the panelist is repeatable because it is better than when I pick the attributes sort of randomly. And uh, when uh, its, its value is between uh, Q85, the 15% level and the 5% level, then I will say the panelist is likely not repeatable. And uh, when it's lower than uh, the, the Q85, then the panelists will be, say, not repeatable. So we present the, the results in this uh, table. So you have the panelist as line, and they are sorted from the best to the worst. The columns are the number of periods made. We, the package uh, will uh, go from one to five. 
and uh, the average over all the level of temporality investigated is the criterion used to, 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 to sort the, the panelists, right? And uh, when it's in green, it was repeatable for this level of uh, temporality. In uh, yellow, we don't know, and in red, it's poor, right? And then I put some color here on my uh, panelists. You see these two ones, they are red every time for any level of temporality. So they are poor panelists. And these four, sometimes red, sometimes yellow, and so on. So I put them in yellow. And these panelists, I consider them as repeatable, right? I do the same for Tikata, and here is the picture. Okay, I have three red mm -hmm. against two, but also uh, here, four and four, and for me, the same thing. And even if I do the average of everything, Tikata was slightly better because one of the panelists really liked Tikata, he was very good. Okay, but for me, these two pictures is the same level of repeatability in TDS and Tikata in this data set. Okay, so now about product discrimination, we are going to do something very simple. We exchange the role of replicates and products, right? And then I compute the same thing on pairs of different products, right? And then uh, the lower, this new coefficient that I call TSP for temporal similarity of product, okay? The lower it is, the better, because it means that the product are the more different, are perceived the more different by the panelists. So uh, in order to reverse that, I, I will compute this ratio, one minus TSP, so the larger the better, the more product differences, and I divide by one minus the repeatability, which is the non-repeatability. And I want this ratio to be as, as, as high as possible. And if it's below one, then we got into trouble because it means that this guy made larger differences on different products as compared to replicates. And then after we will do the same simulation in order to test uh, these uh, coefficient. And this is the results about temporal discrimination of products. So now, uh, I apply the same things. And as you can see, okay, I have three and four, but is here I have three and two. And for me, again, it's the same level. Again, by the mean, uh, Tikata would be better, again, because of these uh, judges, which has a huge ratio, 10. And after that, it's three. If I go to median, it's good. The, the, the two table will be comparable, right? And uh, so, uh, what you should see in this table, as in the first one, is that the two methods are alike, right? But the panelists are quite different. Look, we go from three to this panelist as a mean on the different level of temporality, lower than one. So it's, uh, when it's lower than one, I put the figure in black. It's even worse than the red, okay? And uh, so we have heterogeneity of the panelists in their ability to be repeatable and discriminative in, in both TDS mm -hmm. and Tikata. And what is in very interesting is that uh, S, uh, this panelist was good in both, but take panelist number 10 is good in TDS and red in Tikata. Uh, but there is the other way around. I don't remember exactly which one, but among the, the red here, uh, 12, six and nine, uh, nine is green. Right, uh, six is poor too, and twelve, and twelve is uh, somewhere. Right, so that's interesting to be a, and we try to understand why, but uh, it's rather difficult. Okay, let's conclude now. So uh, about the chocolate in the chocolate data set, the individual performances were almost equivalent. On these data sets, no, we need to do that on many of the other data sets, but we don't have so much of data sets on, uh, of products on which we have both TDS and Tikata. And this ex in this example, is the same people. However, it was interesting to note that uh, certain people are better in TDS and some other in Tikata, 
you need to understand why. And uh, since TDS was slightly more discriminative at panel level and not at each individual level, to me, it indicates that maybe panelist agreement was probably higher in TDS. So there is another way to investigate that by exchanging the roles of replicates and panelists, we can compute uh, uh, the same kind of coefficient between a pairs of panelists. And then for a given panelist, make the, the average over all the panelists. And then we have um, an index of agreement with the panel. So we are not going to put that in the paper for several reasons. And uh, so I believe that this tool could be very useful for panel leader. Uh, people who want to do to use this technique with trained panelists, maybe to to investigate subtle product differences. And uh, we have already observed a large variety of performance level across studies. For instance, for those who know the data on yogurt published by Nguyen uh, by the Nofima Group. Uh, it's all green in uh, TDS, Tikata, for the two uh, performances, the table are all green, perfect, because the product uh, uh, exhibited huge differences. There were yogurts with or without inclusions. Um, the method is supported by an air package, which has been written by the second author, Cindy Frascola. Cindy is completing a PhD on the Markov chains at the University of Burgundy in the mathematical de uh, department with Hervé Cardo. But she, she started this work during her master with me and at last we will going to try to publish it. And now very recently, Rather than using the Monte Carlo simulation, we have developed something else based on permutation. And this is what we are going to use in the paper because I believe it's better. And if you ask me why, I can tell you later. Thank you very much. Oops. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Pascal. Uh, we have just uh, several minutes for questions and I see there are already questions on the chat. Uh, I don't know if you can see yeah. this question. I can the see that. One from uh, Damien Bremo. Yeah. How do you choose, Damien, how do you choose the number of periods in a sequence? It seems to be key. I, I'm, I'm young, Damien, you want to specify? Okay. So to the, the question during the, the presentation, uh, you take one to five mm. and uh, you make the mean. But, okay. uh, no, no. Uh, in each columns of the table correspond to a given number of uh, periods. Yep. And uh, 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 we don't choose. Uh, the reason is that we are interested to see if repeatability is destroyed when you, when we have when we increase the number of period or not mm -hmm. which was what we expected on this data set it's not the case um, but on other data set i observed that so i believe that that it is an interesting information for the panel leader for instance to be able to say my my uh, panel is repeatable up to three periods, but when I go to four, uh, uh, it's no longer enough repeatable. It means maybe certainly that it's useless to try to, 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 to capture more than three different uh, parts in the sequence of perception. And uh, we believe that five is a max because you know, in this study, when we are able to say this product at the beginning it is like that, in the middle it is like that, and at the end it is like that, it's already a nice conclusion. Mm -hmm. and that was the rationale of the method developed by Michel Vitali, Attack Evolution uh, Finish, um, recently. Okay, thank you. And Nicolas has another question. Yes, just a technical one, but in, at some stage in the table, you show infinity and 26. Yeah. Isn't yeah. there a specific pattern here that makes that yeah. the could be slightly changed? Infinity is when the product discrimination 
uh, is not uh, zero, it means that at the numerator, I, uh, it means the guy at least made one differences, but he was ex perfectly repeatable. So it is something larger than zero divided by zero, infinity. This judge seems to be very good because it is, he is perfectly repeatable. Uh, and he, at least he find one difference because if, if someone is using the same attributes on every product all the time and nothing else, he, he will be perfectly repeatable, but the numerator will be zero. And in that case, we put a one. Mm -hmm. but, that, but that one, for one period, he made differences between two products. So I put infinity and this infinity uh, did not participate in the mean. Yeah. But then maybe the ratio in the other way around will have less issues because, or another index that is capping because even though you are not at this extreme, if you have a, a case where you have a bit artificially a very small denominator, you will go to the roof with this index, no? Yeah, it's possible, you know, it's, uh, I've seen the same thing in profiling. I was working with the, the expert panel of the London, of uh, the International Coffee Organization in London. And I am, the, these people were much better than the other panel uh, that we had in the historical ESN studies on coffee. But it was because these people identify one attribute, flavor, and right. pick it regularly, on, the, on all the replicate, put almost the same intensity score, so mm -hmm. they were perfectly repeatable. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, it was, um, you know, because they identify, and it's, mm -hmm. it's possible here. Yeah. You, yeah, pick, yeah. you yeah. picked only one or two attributes, always the same, and uh, you simplify in your mind your perception. You may be better than what you are if you would have if you would have not simplified your perception. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, I'm sorry that uh, we are not plenty of time. Perhaps uh, John, John has to have a question. No? John, I have a question to you. Yes. Thanks, Evelyn. Hi, Pascal. Nice talk. Uh, I thought that I would just uh, ask you, you know, TCATA and TDS, they, uh, they come from kind of a different task, a different psychological process. And what you've done is you've transformed the TDS uh, data to data that's a bit uh, looks a little bit more like TCATA data, um, or, or maybe even rather CATA data within a particular time interval. Um, and then you're calculating Jacquard's index on each one. And obviously the denominators are potentially different. Did you look at the denominators and see how the denominators differed after that transformation? But the denominator mm -hmm. is the repeatability, right? So it's my first table. The denominator is one minus the the repeatability, so it's the same thing. Uh, I'm thinking of the denominator of Jacquard's index uh, in terms of the number of attributes. Ah, ah, the denominator. Okay, okay, on the number of attributes. Right. Sorry, uh, sorry, uh, John. I understand the question now. Um, you mean, uh, of course, the denominator should be larger in Ticata. Huh? This is what you actually. Want. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I was just wondering if yeah. you compared them. And found I guess them. I guess it should be larger, but uh, also uh, also the the numerator has more chance to be larger also because uh, if you choose more products in the two sequence, you have more chance to have more product in common. Uh, so you know our assumption, John, at the beginning was that TDS should be more discriminative, but Ticata should be more um, repeatable, people in Ticata. That was our assumption. On this data set, we don't see that, uh, as you can, could see. And no, I'm, I have, I think, two or three other studies with both. I will investigate. Um, I'm not sure because, because when you pick a lot of attributes in Ticata, very often at the end, people have a lot of attributes highlighted and they just don't figure out what they should uh, switch off. And so uh, if you have all of them highlighted, you will be very reputable, of course. So that was our assumptions. 